Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is very exciting and special to me because it's going to revolve around blush. Specifically, these new balm blushes from About Face. These are the Cheek Freak blushes. There are 10 shades. And before I get too far into talking about these blushes, this video is in partnership with About Face, which is very exciting to me. I could not think up a better partnership for me and my channel. If you aren't familiar with About Face, about Face is Halsey's makeup brand and they're all about expressing yourself with color and I know they always take my creative side out when I play with their products. I come up with some really fun and creative looks whether they're really subtle or intricate. They're also a vegan, cruelty-free and clean brand and they did give me a discount code for you guys for 10% off. It's about Julia 10. So today I'm going to be swatching every shade on my cheeks as well as my arms so you can get a feel for the color against my skin tone and I also have a giveaway Way for you guys. One of you is going to win this beautiful PR box behind me. They had sent out these 10 blushes a bit before launch so I can play with them, see if I wanted to take this job. And then once they actually launched it, I got the PR box, but I don't need doubles of these. I need to share these beautiful blushes with you guys. So I'll get into how to enter the giveaway in a bit because I want to get into these blushes now. So before we get into the makeup, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. So I'm starting with my base on because I want to get right into these blushes, of course. But now the thing is, I can barely pick a blush on an average day, but between 10, what am I gonna do about this face? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this purple because it's like the most eye-catching out of the bunch and it's actually one of my favorites. After my little swatch montage, I'll tell you which ones are my favorites as of right now. Um, but yeah, I think this is the move for today and it's cute with, it's giving Buzz Lightyear with my shirt. So let's do it. This is the shade Score. These are really, really, really nice blushes and I feel like a lot of people will get along with them. They're a very easy formula to work with. They're very lightweight. I'm going to apply it with this little, bl this little blush brush. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Tongue twister always, blush brush. Why is it so hard? I will never know. And these blend beautifully with fingers or a brush as well. They melt right into your skin as you'll see in a second. I'm just gonna start off on this side. It's a really cute color because it's kind of like intimidating, but once it's on, it's like a really cute, vibrant, cool pink lilac, but it's flattering. <laughs> and I wanna see what this looks like on deeper skin tones as well. I just haven't seen that yet. And I would say that they're perfectly pigmented, meaning that they're adjustable. So you can get like a really sheer watercolor effect kind of like this, or you can build them up a ton as well. They kind of have a powdery finish, like as you're applying them, especially if you apply them with your finger, you'll feel that powdery sensation, which is awesome because they'll give like a blurring soft focus look to your cheekies. Which I love. One of my favorite words when it comes to makeup is blurring and because of that powdery finish they do last a really long time and they're also formulated with some very hydrating things like hyaluronic acid and um, meadow foam seed oil which is really cool it um, helps to hydrate and smooth your skin locking in that moisture as we know hyaluronic acid does i'm just gonna build in build and build this I'm gonna go a little bit more intense than I usually would, just because I'm gonna have fun with my eyes as well. So why the heck not? And then I'll show you how they're buildable as well. Cute. Okay, so this is the shade Score, once again, one of my favorites. It's so cute. But now that that's applied, I'm going to reel in the swatching montage. So please enjoy. And while you're watching that, I'm gonna figure out what to do with my eyeballs. <laughs> so, okay, let's roll into it.
So here's the cute little eye look I came up with. It reminds me of Lemonade, which I had one this morning, so I think that's where I pulled that inspiration from. So I'm going to start off with one of the Fractal Eye Paints. This is the shade Tin Pan Alley. And I knew I wanted to incorporate this, so I put it on right away so it didn't get neglected. <laughs> and I'm going to put this on my lid, kind of just halfway, like this, just sloppily. And then I took a little brush. This is just a little dose of colors brush. And then I just smooshed it around, kind of scattering those glitters. And this is a fun color because it's kind of champagne-y, but it also has a lime reflect. And I love that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Kind of added more and more as I went on with the look because I wanted to do something a bit more subtle. Well, kind of mid, in between kind of dramatic, but it's soft because the colors aren't so dark. I started with this, then I took some of the matte fluid eye paint in the shade Vertigo Flowers, which is a really nice lime color. And I drew a little triangle on the outer corner here, kind of to set the scene. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. To kind of get a general shape for the look. And I just wiped off that brush. I don't mind if there's little glitters that get everywhere. And I started to blend the edges because I didn't want them to be so sharp. And I also took whatever pigment was left on this brush into this glitter because I do add another layer later. But I kind of like how it tinted the shimmer even more green. So now that I blew out the edges a bit more, I took the shade Everything Now, which is a lighter lime green. A little bit more pastel, it has a bit more of a white base to it. And then I put that in here as well. Because it wasn't popping as much as I wanted, but I kind of like how the dark adds this fun outline. Same brush once again, I just blended that. I kind of added too much, so I'm just kind of sopping it up with my brush, kind of tapping over it, and then I wipe on a towel. And then I decided that that wasn't enough for me, so I took the yellow shade, it's called Incoming, and I took some on this other side of this brush. This is like a one brush look, it's fun. And I put some in the inner corner part right here. I did a little dot at first, I was like, am I feeling a dot? And then I was like, no, I'm feeling a swipe. <laughs> oh no, this one, is, comes way farther than this one does. Dang it, okay, I messed up, that's okay. Perhaps I'll be able to fix that. Got lost in the explanation, dang it. Okay, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days. Some more than others, AKA me. <laughs> and then I also took some on this lower part. Cause I feel like when you're adding a little pop of color, it's fun to add it in three places. It's kind of like a common design thing. Like if you bring a pop of color into your house, you should have three things of that color to make it look cohesive. So I put that into this and I wanted a little dot somewhere. So I put it right on the outer part. Boop, boop, boop. Now I'm going to attempt to fix my mistake. It's so hot in my office. It's like so sweaty in here. I'm going to take a little angled brush with my concealer. I'm using the LYS Triple Fix today, so I'm just gonna scrub some on the back of my hand just to remove the excess. And then I'm going to go right under this detail. Oh God, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna fight for it. I'm just gonna even it out a little bit with some more green on this side. And then I'm gonna add another layer of Tin Pan Alley. This is a Glisten number no. five brush. It's nice to get into those little details. Add another layer to build up that opacity. And now for my mascara, I'm using my Makeup Forever Professional. What I like to do with this mascara, I've kind of built my routine with it. So I just take the fluffier side for my top lashes. I curled them, so I just use this one, and if it gets a little clumpy or I add too much, I go in with the other side, and I use the other side for my lower lashes, so I love having 
my mascara routine in one thing and it hasn't smudged all my lower lashes at all which is great news oh my god i just got it on my contact do you see that i'm gonna suffer the consequences but it's fine i'm very clumsy with my eyes today i don't know what's happening and then i switch over to this side to do the lower lashes and i like how it gives them a softer effect And I also like to run it through my lashes like this, just to separate them even more. It's an awesome, awesome invention, this thing. Okay, and here are the eyes all finished. What do we think? I think it's cute. I love the little dots just randomly over here. I think it just ties everything together. It looks really schnazzy. So now I'm going to talk about my favorite blush shades out of the 10. I have five favorites so far, so half of them. These are the ones I'm most interested in at the moment. So we have my number one favorite, which I think is Get Some. This is the one I see myself reaching for the most. And side note, I love how the packaging matches what's on the inside. Like, come on, monochromatic, but it's also so nice to identify what you're picking out. So Get Some, I know I already swatched them, but this one is a gorgeous kind of burnt shade. It's like a nice soft mauve, but it can look burnt or purpley, it's cute. And then another one of my favorites is Laid. It's a gorgeous uh, kind of softer pink. Then of course, the one I have on my cheeks today, Score. Then we have Smash, which is kind of like a burnt, it kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite lipsticks, Stay Curious from MAC. And then lastly is Champagne Room, which is kind of like a peachy pink down there. So those ones are my favorites. And what's also fun about these is that you can put them on your lips. What lip liner would work for today? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna line my lips with the Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Worthy. Kind of like a very similar shade to my natural lips. I love lip liner. And then I'm going to add, ooh, maybe I'm gonna put the pink, the shade Laid on my lips. And these are really fun when you put them on your lips because they feel like lip powders. Is that the move? I think so. I think that's cute. I look like a little petal. Yeah, they feel exactly like a lip powder. Very comfortable, they don't feel chalky. And I'm going to add a little bit of the blush I went in with in the center, just to tie everything in. And I might add a little bit of a gloss. But yeah, they're really nice on the lips, as you can see. So cute. And I'm going for Tower 28 Chill. It's the first clear gloss I saw in a reaching distance. <laughs> I didn't want to get up. I'm tired. I'm just going to tap a little bit on. Cute. Okay, this turned out really fun. I love the eye look with the purpley pink cheeks. I'm happy I went with that instead of blues because I think we would have had another modern grandma look come out of this video if I went in with this. <laughs> but here is the look. I'll bring you guys in so you can see a nice clear shot without me talking. I'm going to shut up. This is so cute. Okay, I love this. I had a lot of uh, excitement for today's video and I was so scared I was going to end up with a look I didn't entirely love, but that did not happen here. <laughs> so now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll give you guys a little box tour. So this is what it looks like. Cute with cherries and like a fishnet vibe. Oop. Sorry if a hair of mine comes in it. I'm kidding. There won't, there won't be. You get these cute little stickies. And then of course, all of the blushes in the fun packaging. And then underneath there's I'm gonna do a different clip because I know I'm going to take this out and everything's gonna fall. But yeah, the whole entire 10 blush range. And how I'm going to go about this is I'm going to ask you guys to comment your Instagram handles in the comments down below alongside of one of your favorite memories this summer or something you're looking forward to with the last little bit of summer we've got. 
put your Instagram handle down below so I can contact you. There has been a lot of scams going around on YouTube about giveaways and stuff, so you'll be able to see that it's actually me and my Instagram profile, and if you need me to, I can send you a little peace sign or whatever pose. Not whatever pose. Don't get freaky now. Um, <laughs> and also I'll be able to check if you guys are following me, of course. But yeah, like this video, make sure you're subscribed, you're following me over on Instagram. But yeah, those are the rules for the giveaway. I don't know if I've ever done a YouTube giveaway. This is really exciting. I need to do that more though, it'd be so fun. If this goes well, <laughs> I'm getting insecure. Okay, but yeah. Those are the easy peasy giveaway details. So we're nearing the end of today's video, but I wanted to say another huge thank you to About Face for thinking of me for this video. It was so fun to create and I could not think of a more fitting collaboration. I'm such a blush fan and I love these blushes. They're so, so fun. And of course you can use my code aboutjulia10 for 10% off your order. That is all from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Again, make sure to enter that giveaway because it's a fun one. I'll also link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.